Aldi stabbing suspect was floored by customer and wrapped in cling film after attacking woman. Jody Wilshire, 30, is believed to have been working at the store in Skipton, North York's, when the suspected knifeman launched the attack. A hero grandfather of eight floored a knifeman accused of stabbing a mum to death in Aldi before wrapping him in cling film to stop him escaping. Brave Wilf Beatty, 68, said he was just 10 yards away from Jody Wilshire, 30 when she was killed at the branch of Aldi in Skipton, North York's. He turned around after hearing the commotion and saw the mum of one lying motionless on the ground in a pool of blood. Wilf says he punched the suspect in the face several times before dragging him to the floor and restraining him. The grandfather of eight says he shouted you bastard at the suspect who remained silent throughout, before police led him away in handcuffs. Speaking at his home in East Burn, West York's. Dad of three Wilf, a bricklayer, said he had said hello to the victim before the stabbing after getting to know her during his weekly visits to the store. He said, I saw the lass, I said hello and then walked away. I then heard this commotion, I looked around and these two fellas one the accused, another unknown were having an argument. A fella had the other around the neck, I went over and saw her on the floor in a pool of blood. I just started laying into him, I punched him in the face a few times. We got him on the floor and restrained him. A member of staff came, got his head and a fella and myself got a belt around his legs before a young member of staff came with a big roll of cling film and we wrapped it around his legs. She was just lying on the floor in a pool of blood. The cops came and put the bracelets on him and got him up. The man didn't say a word, he just looked down at her. I said to him, you bastard. Why he targeted her I shall never know. Wilf described Jody as a lovely lass who is always bubbly. His wife Susan, 70, said, people were screaming and shouting. They were running out of the store. My husband was trying to hold his legs down so that he couldn't escape. A 44-year-old man has been arrested on suspicion of murder and is currently being quizzed by detectives. Devastated friends and family have paid tribute to happy, friendly Jody after she was killed just four days before Christmas. Her husband Mal changed his profile picture to one of smiling Jody ice skating with their young daughter Megan, who started primary school this year, and also updated his cover photo to a picture of the two of them. Cousin Chris Swale said, Yesterday we lost a beautiful, fun-loving, and caring person. How can life be so cruel, a selfless act by one person has left a husband without a wife and a little girl without her mother. You weren't just my cousin Jody, you were like the sister I never had and now I'm broken you've gone. Be the brightest star in the sky and sleep tight x. A friend leaving flowers at the scene today paid tribute to the absolutely lovely person. He said, I went to school with Jody, primary school, and high school. She was a well-liked person, I don't know anyone who had a grudge against her, she seemed, lovely, such a nice person. There's so many people she knew, so many people affected by it. It's shocking, an absolutely lovely person, never do any harm to nobody. She idolized her daughter. She put a snap on Facebook yesterday of her with her daughter cuddling in bed before she went to work. Nobody should ever go to work and not come home. Friend John Firth said, it just shows how many people's lives you touched Jody. The words and pictures people are sharing are showing the kind of person you are. Fun-loving, kind, caring and, most of all, devoting. You sleep tight now little lady. I will still put a profit roll on the garden wall for you to come and get every now and then. Our thoughts and prayers are with Mal, Megan, family, and friends. Ty Livesey wrote, what a beautiful lady, inside and out. Richard Gardner wrote, I woke this morning hoping that yesterday was all just a bad dream Jody will share. Sleep tight my beautiful bestie. Words cannot even begin to describe how devastated we all are. You were one of a kind, and you will definitely be the brightest star shining in the sky. We will all love and miss you forever, but we will all be thankful every day that we got to have you in our lives. Triple X. Ema Shades Thompson posted a number of photos of her and Jody, writing, Fly high my beautiful angel Jody will share. You were one of the most amazing people who I had the honor to call my friend. I woke up this morning hoping it was all a bad dream. Heaven has gained the most amazing angel in the most horrific way. We love you to the moon and back, shine bright pretty lady. One pal said, Jody you were one of a kind. Kind. Caring. Sweet and a great friend. You were the life of the party. You were an awesome school friend and a closer friend out of school. You are a fantastic person and mother and I'm sure Mal will say a fantastic wife too. Life can be so cruel sometimes. 
I will always cherish our friendship even if circumstances prevented us from hanging. I always knew I could talk to you whenever. I will also cherish our last talk. Thank you for the kind comments you said about my son and my wife, smiley face. I am gutted I will never be able to have them talks with you again, crying face, I will always think fondly of you. Rest now sweet angel. Another wrote, Rip Jody will share triple X beautiful angel. Floral tributes have also been left at the scene of the brutal murder, with one card next to a bottle of wine reading, to our beautiful sweet friend, we are all broken. Sorry we never got our girls night, here's a glass to you. Skipton Mayor Andy Rankin said, Skipton is a small but close-knit community where most people know each other. We are in shock about the sad events of yesterday where a store worker was murdered whilst going about her duties. The whole town is in shock and grieving over the loss. Horrified shoppers said everyone screamed and ran up and down the supermarket after Jody was left lying on the ground. One man whose mother and father were in the store at the time said, my parents were doing their shopping when it happened and my dad restrained the BD who stabbed the member of staff until the police arrived. I've never witnessed anything like it people just running out of the store scared and traumatized. My heart goes out to her family and friends. Rip young lady. One shopper who was in the store at the time of the attack said she had never been so scared in my life. Paramedics were scrambled to the store but tragically Jody couldn't be saved and she died from her injuries. A spokesperson for Aldi said, we are working with the police following an incident at our Skipton store. North Yorkshire police said the incident was not terror-related or believed to be a hate crime.